What's up guys, my name is Wada, and we're going to be talking about Halo 5! I'm sorry that was loud, but can you not be excited? Halo 5, come on, that's going to be something huge! Guys, for this video, that's ex really exactly what we're going to be talking about. At the Microsoft event at E3, or well, the Microsoft conference at E3, they showed off a trailer. I'm sure you've all seen it. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description below. But they revealed a trailer to show that there was going to be a Halo game releasing on the Xbox One and getting released in 2014, and that it was going to be featuring Master Chief as the main character, or Master Chief as definitely a playable character. So it was going to be about him. And that can only lead you to believe that it's going to be a major game or a game in the main canon series which can only be Halo 5 because Halo 4 was the last game. I don't think Master Chief's going to be in a spin-off game. Does that really make sense? Spin-off games are spin-offs. They're to tell other stories. That means they're not to do with the main story. That's the whole point. That's why it's a spin-off. It's about other characters. It's not going to be about Chief. They've also revealed for this game that it is going to be getting played at 60 frames per second compared to the 30 frames per second we've been playing it at for the last generation of consoles and that the multiplayer side of it is going to be having dedicated servers which is huge to be coming not only to console but to Halo as well that will hopefully fix a lot of the LAN issues. They didn't give any information about where the servers, how many servers or where they are, how many there will be, so on. Can we rent servers like you can in Battlefield, other games? I don't know. We don't know. But there's going to be dedicated servers, and that's still awesome. So that's going to be coming out in 2014. Beyond that, the trailer said Halo. Its working title name at this point is Halo Xbox One. So they haven't revealed what it is or given any other information. Now, beyond that, the only thing we know is recently, one of the guys at Microsoft, I think Phil Spencer, maybe, I think that's the name that I read. There was just an interview with him. Someone did an interview again. I, I don't remember. It was like four days ago. Give me a break. But there was an interview with him and it talked a little bit about that and they were discussing Halo 5 and Halo 2 Anniversary because that's what this game is speculated to be but the other most speculated game that we think is going to be released in the Halo universe or just for a Halo game would be Halo 2 Anniversary. Now firstly for Halo 2 Anniversary just to let you guys know they have definitely talked about it they've admitted that it's been or something that they've had it or thought about and talked about something that was definitely a possibility. At this stage will it ever come out? Don't know. There is there is no way to know unless they announce that Halo 2 Anniversary is coming out. But the reason for the delay was all about getting the timing right. Now coming out in 2014 would make sense. That would definitely make sense. Why? Because that is the 10 year anniversary of when Halo 4 came out. So they could do exactly the same thing that they did with the original Halo Anniversary and it would be perfect. It would be perfectly on time. So it is definitely possible that that could be the game coming out in 2014. But beyond that, They've just said it, it's something we've talked about. It was all about getting the timing right. Will it ever happen? There's, there's, we just don't know. So it's possible that that is going to be the game. The other major possibility that it's going to be is Halo 5 because it was about Master Chief. The trailer itself, while in that interview, he revealed that the trailer, everything shown in there was nothing of significance. It wasn't something that they perfectly planned every single moment to reveal the right thing, but only the right things that they wanted to reveal with nothing beyond that, give you room for speculation so that we could start to get excited about the next Halo. That's not what it was. It was just a trailer. They just, Master Chief trailer, giant bird, explosion, Cortana thing, broken shield, broken face, dust, hole. That's, that was it. They just, they just wanted to put a trailer together about an upcoming Halo title. So don't speculate too much about what was in that trailer. For all we know, that could mean it's going to be Halo 3 anniversary. They'll just skip two all together and just do something weird and make it look like Halo Master Chief and Halo 4. Who knows? So don't get too over, too overly excited about the trailer or speculate on it too much, but I would say that it's most likely going to be Halo 5, kind of based off what was shown, that that would be the next major game that would feature Master Chief. Like I said, I don't think it would be a spin-off, so it would make sense to be Halo 5. What they did show was the Master Chief from Halo 4. They showed Cortana's tag, or Cortana's chip in his hand, around a chain, because, you know, he's wearing chains. He's probably got grills. We don't know. We've never seen his face. He's pretty gangster. And it was showing a battered and beaten up Master Chief that only, it just looked like he was on a journey to try and find Cortana, which definitely makes sense. So it's, that's something, it could definitely be Halo 5. If it is Halo 5, I'm a highly spectacle, oh, what? 
highly skeptical at this stage of it being Halo 5, and you guys should be too. The reason why is the development cycle. Halo 4 came out in 2012, meaning that if Halo 5 comes out in 2014, it has had a two-year development cycle. Every other game has had a four or three-year development cycle. Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's something to be worried about. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Laters.